Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Woo! Feeling good on a Monday. Do 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 you can tell I'm excited when I'm dancing around. <laughs> and this smile is like really, really big. Okay, because this past, today is Monday, right? And this past weekend, this Saturday and Sunday, uh, I was working on my preschool club book. The one I keep showing you over and over. Hold on, I have to get it out here. It's basically, what I'm trying to say is that, here it is. This is the front cover. Ha, ha, ha. So, ah, Jisan, ohayou gozaimasu. Good morning, good morning to you. And to Dali, I hope is Dali, are you there? Are you there? Well, I just wanted to say that here we are on Facebook. That's what I was saying and that I did my little happy dance. And the reason why, it's because I finished this document over the weekend. I spent a lot of time on my computer. My husband went out running. Ah, wonderful. My husband went out running and, <laughs> and he went walking and I just was staying on my computer like this. And then I would wake up and, and type, ah. And then I would go to sleep, <laughs> like that. And then my kitty would wake me up. Ah, Mila, hello, Maya, hello, hello. So happy you're here. It's wonderful. Ah, Amelia, hi, is Elias there? Okay, good morning, Amelia, good morning, Elias. Wow, we have a lot of our wonderful friends here today. You know what's so so fun, so amazing about doing this every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and what? Mm hmm Friday. Ah, que bien, los dos. Yay! Family, 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 family. What's so amazing about doing this, this uh, live presentation is you guys that's what's so amazing about it it's um uh oh wonderful hi papa of dahlia happy birthday omedetto gozaimasu and feliz cumpleaños to dahlia's papa wow i love it okay so that's what i was just saying all of my little sweethearts um so many are here and i really 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 thank you guys if you keep coming i'll keep coming how's that and we're only doing facebook because i decided i didn't like the whole instagram live thing <laughs> but i was just doing my happy dance before you guys uh showed up and i'll show you my happy dance again in a second and the reason why is because i finished my preschool club book i've been really busy like super busy since um yay since uh since basically we've been staying home i decided i'm not going to just watch tv no i'm not going to just cry no <laughs> well maybe a little bit <laughs> and then i'm happy because Mr. Goofy gave me a hug and he said, he said, Heather, you can have fun even if you're home. And what do you guys think? Are you having fun being at home? Well, I love being at home. That's true. And so I decided to get busy. And so I made this. It's a 70 page document, which a little book, which people will be able to download later today. The launch will happen. And so, yeah, it's a big deal because I realized yesterday I have been working on that little project since 2013 <laughs> and finally finished it. So let's get started, you guys. I just wanted to tell you my happy news, my happy news. So congratulations to me. That's why I was doing my happy dance a second ago. I was saying, or whatever my happy dance was. <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah. 
so that's my happy dance that I do when nobody's watching, but just like Uma the horse, sometimes I get caught and you guys were watching me. But this big smile is because I'm so, I feel, you know that feeling when you, when you, you have something that you want to do and then you finish and you have this feeling like, yay, like that. Can you guys do that? Ready? One, two, three. Yay! Okay, one more time. Ready? One, two, three. Yay! Like that. <laughs> wow! All right. Enough of that. Now, let's get started with our wonderful class. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Is the happy birthday papa ready? Okay. <laughs> Are my little sweethearts ready? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, winding up, winding up, winding up. Now, straight I stand, as tall as a tree, except to bow, I kiss what? Tree's knees. <laughs> so I'm gonna bend myself down. Did you see that? Did you see that I bent my knees a little bit? That's actually fine. Sometimes people think you have to keep your legs straight when you're doing this yoga. No, but put your hands down so you don't fall. And I'm gonna kiss my knees, yeah. And then I'm gonna come up, up, up like a little worm. I'm gonna roll all the way up. Yeah, were you guys being trees too? Aha, uh -huh. let's see who's on the... Aha, I see Harper is here now. Wow, Harper, is Hudson here too? Oh my goodness, so Harper. Oh, and Mr. Goofy is watching, yay! all my wonderful family. Okay, so here we were, we did our tree, our tree pose. Well, actually it was kiss trees knees, but now we're going to do our tree pose. So we're going to, you know, like ye Uma, like Uma the horse, one knee up and <laughs> like that, right? And then the other side, all the way up and how does a horse sound? My horse sounds are coming out really wonky. What do you guys think? Oh, I see. Okay, that's fine. Well, Harper is here. Thank you for telling me. Thank you. And Harper, can you do this one? Amelia, can you do this one? But I'm going in slow motion, so it's up really slow and down really fast. <laughs> can you do that one? Uh, Dahlia, up. Show me up, 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 up. And down really fast. <laughs> now go really fast. All right. And how about, I have to keep looking here. Oh, hello. Hello. All right. We are going to go up and down. Up and down. Other side. Up and down. Up and down. And squeeze, let go. Squeeze, let go. Hey, do you guys, do you guys want to do our dance from the other day? Okay. We have, <clears throat> we're trying, what, what we're doing right now is we're getting our heart going, heart pumping, pumping, pumping. So the goal right now is to get your heart pumping. And then we're gonna sit down and do some poses. And then we'll do some different kind of yoga poses. And then we're going to do a game and we'll end with a story. That's 30 minutes of our little circle time here. It goes by pretty quickly. So I have to stop talking and start doing. Mm -mm -mm. Here we are right now. We went tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Oh my goodness. If we go over a little bit of our 30 minutes, is that okay with you guys? Okay, I hope so. I hope so. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Shake it out. Shake it out. Okay, we're starting. We're officially starting. Everybody's here. Are you all ready? Mm -mm. Now, it was, I have my hands on my hips right here. Hips mean the part where you bend. Where you bend. The part where it's like, that would be this part right here. See the little bend? That's called the bend right there. So that's where your hips are, right here. I'm the little, like that, right? <laughs> okay, so we have, we have a one leg up, one leg down, like the horsey, up and down other side up 
Okay, there we go. I just wanted to make sure that the recording is happening. So we were doing um, up and down, up and down, other side, up and down. You're my horse. <laughs> yeah, the horse is in the show now. And when we go open, my hands will go down like that to my side. Shoulders back, shoulders back, shoulders back. There we go. And then we're going to put our feet together and cross our hands at the same time. That's kind of tricky. How old are you guys? Dahlia, how old are you? I know Amelia is five. <laughs> I almost said four. Oops, sorry, Amelia. I know, um, let's see, I know Harper is three. Oh my gosh. You guys just haven't been here for a few weeks and already I'm thinking, how old are they? How old are they? <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop trying to guess to make myself look bad. <laughs> All right, here we go. And <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa Derek, because you can see my brain is a little bit somewhere else right now. But I was thinking, Harper 4, why was I thinking that? Because, because you seem so, but, so old to me, my lovey girl. Yeah, that's right, Harper. You do. I love you too. Uh Oh wow, Dahlia, you're so you're so much older now. Okay, so Dahlia is four too. So we have a lot of three and four year olds watching today. That's cool. <laughs> Give yourself. Uh, if you're four years old, clap four times. If you're five years old, clap five times. Right? Okay. If you're three. If you're two. If you're one. Hmm. Okay, now what were we doing? We were saying open is like this and our hands are like that and closed is like this. Can you guys do that? Let's do it fast. Let's do it slowly and then faster. So it's open and closed. Open and closed. I don't know how to say that in Japanese. Jisan, you have to teach me. Open and closed. <laughs> but in Spanish, we say abierto, cerrado. <laughs> Sometimes we see those signs on the door of a, excuse me, of a store. Open, the store is open. Closed, the store is closed, right? Now let's do it faster. Open, closed, open, closed. Abierto, cerrado, abierto, cerrado. <laughs> Can you guys do that? Okay, now let's put it together with our other one. You know how I like to do what I call choreography, which means what? Dance moves, dance in a pattern. Choreography is basically a pattern. All right. Well, it can be a pattern, but let's just call it that. So we're going up and down. Start from the beginning. Up and down. Other side. Up and down. Up and down. Now, what do we do next? We go open and closed. Open and closed. Okay. That's what we're doing. Oh, you want to do more? Who wants to do more of that same one? Ah, oh, hello, Cedar and Lulu. Lulu, como estas, mi amorcita? Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hi, Lulu. And Cedar, my buddy. Cedar, mwah. nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you for being here. And we, what we're doing is we're doing balancing up. Can you balance up? Ooh, that's hard. Other side, can you balance up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. If it's too hard, just put your foot like on the other foot like that. Okay, and then we did open, we did shut. We did open and shut like that. Okay, one more? Okay, one more. This one, you, uh, let's see. We're gonna add a, a clap to it. Ah, uh, wait, <laughs> that's funny. I have to go glasses on, glasses off. Ah, thank you guys, besitos, mwah. So let's do it. Uh, we're going to do it all together. So we go up and down, up and down, other side, up and down, <laughs> up and down. Now we're gonna do open and closed uh, f two times. Open, closed, open, closed. That was two because two sets. And now the last part is clap, clap, clap. What do you guys think? Do you like that one? Uh-huh, hold on, I have to read the message. It says, oh. Oh my gosh, Chiesan, that's so sweet. I totally remember Hugo. I totally remember, of course. Very energetic little boy. That's what I remember. <laughs> and I remember you too, of course. Oh my goodness. Okay, one more time and then we're going to move on. So it's up 
and down. Balance like a horse and down. Other side. If you're older, you can balance longer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And down, up. If you're littler, then it's just quick like that, right? And then it's open and closed. Open and closed. And last one, it's clap three times. And clap, clap, clap. Ah, wonderful. Now we're going to sit down, feel your heart, feel your heart. I do feel it. It's going boom, 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 boom. Do you hear? Boom, boom, boom. It's like a drum. Boom, 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 like that. Now I want you guys to sit down, crisscross applesauce. We say one foot on the bottom, one foot on top, clap your hands, and then we stop. And here we're going to start with our beautiful opening rhyme, which is, do it, with, do it together with me, okay? Ready, one, two, ready, go. This is our roof, keeps us dry and hmm, warm. That's right, hands together. Put your hands at your heart. And we say our heart is our what? Home, that's right. Namaste, little one, or namaste, big one. Whoa, I was stretching my back. Namaste means hello, it means I welcome you, and give yourself a big hug. Hug yourself, wrap your fingers all the way around, wrap, wrap, wrap your fingers, and you can do a little twist, 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 like you know when you're really happy to hug somebody, really, really happy. Oh, and then you're jumping up and down, and you're saying, I missed you so much, to myself. <laughs> and open, and I welcome you all. I welcome you all. Big arms all the way to the back. Clap your hands in the back. Looks like this. Can you do it? Sometimes that's hard. That's hard for younger people to do. And then from there, we're going to straighten our arms. Ooh, that means my shoulders have to go back. And my head wants to follow. Whoa, whoa. Like that. And then I'm going to put my hands. I'm going to open my palms. That's tricky. And they're still together. Or you could just go like that. That's okay, too but I'm going to open my palms and I'm going to look up. Hmm. Nice. Woo, shake it out. That's intense and really good. Other foot on top, crisscross applesauce. Sometimes people that come to my school, they like to do two, two feet, one foot up and the other foot up. You know, you would be surprised, you guys. A lot of kids can do this. But if you don't want to do that, then you could just put it down like that. But I do want to do it. My body is telling me I like it. Feels good. Super stretch. Ooh. Okay. So we did our opening rhyme, that one, right? Uh-huh. That's what we did. And now we're going to do our soup mix. I keep doing the same yoga rhymes over and over, though I do have other fun rhymes because I feel that kids want to have the same repetition over and over. So I hope it's okay with you. If not, let me know, okay? Say, I need some new yoga rhymes or say, I love the old yoga rhymes. Up to you guys, right? But for now, I'm gonna say, if my head were a spoon and my legs were a pot, what kind of soup would you make? Put your hands on your knees, hold, and now we're gonna stir the pot. As you add the ingredients, somebody will be, maybe your parent or maybe your, your brother or sister can be adding the ingredients. Could be water, Shh, you could add it to yourself. Could be salt, chick, 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 chick. other way. What, you have to keep stirring, keep stirring. What ingredients, do you want potatoes? What kind of soup do you want today? Mm-hmm, are you hungry? Or maybe for later. Sometimes I cook in the morning, I cook soup for the whole day, okay. How about some tomatoes? Squash, squash, squash. Not squash, squish squash the tomatoes on my head. <laughs> goodness or throw them in the pot maybe I need some fresh herbs from the garden Ooh, grab that one Ooh, grab that one and sprinkle it in maybe I I have some onions and garlic chop it up you love onions and garlic right <laughs> I know you guys love it you love it and when you walk in and somebody's been cooking some yummy soup and you smell it and you say oh I love those onions I love that garlic do you say that no? Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and so we're stirring our pot. Stirring, 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 stirring. Now, this part of the game 
is where you don't, you want to make sure there's nothing behind you. No brothers or sisters behind you. No toys or books behind you. No furniture behind you. No wall. And we're going to stir the pot until we uh, fall all the way over. Uh, keep going, keep going. And don't tip the pot, but it did tip. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> and drink your soup. Oh, blow on it. A spoon okay you can use a spoon nice all right wiggle out those legs wiggle out those legs wiggle out those legs wiggle 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 now put your legs to the front oh I think you know what's coming right get your glue get your tube of glue mm-hmm is it open oh pfft. got some glue in my eye <laughs> oh no yeah Ooh, I'm okay I'm okay I'm okay. Uh, glue the inside right here of your leg, other inside of your leg. Now put your glue down and we're going to pat our legs together. Oh wait, I need some more glue for my toes. I need some glue for my feet. And then we're gonna pat, 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 pat. And then from there, guess what? Your legs are stuck together. So whatever you do, if you put your hands down back here, whatever you do, it looks like a mermaid. <laughs> you can't undo your legs. You have to keep them stuck together. Don't open. Don't open your legs. Now get out our spiders and we're going to walk to the knees and then stop. Stop at your knees. And then we're going to hop or run as fast as you can to your feet. One, two, ready, go. Whee! Aha! And stick, stick, stick because that is where the spiders will live for a minute. If you need to bend your knees a little bit, keep your keep your legs together like a good mermaid or mer or mer boy, pardon. And then here, it is to now the spiders are gonna go off, go off. They might have been water spiders. I'm not sure. But here is the mermaid. Here is the mermaid. Here is the mer boy, the merman. Mm -hmm. And how about we're going to. I'm scooting myself forward because I want to show you guys something. Now I'm going to get my chopper, chop, 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 and I'm going to open my legs. Open, open, chuk, 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 yay, open. All right, and one foot. Oh, hi, Lena. I just saw, I can see now, because I'm coming a little bit closer to my little dinky phone. And is Lulu watching? <gasps> what? <laughs> hi, Lulu. <laughs> And we're going to take this top leg and we're going to shoot it back. Aha! What does that look like? That is, guess what? It's called, who remembers this one? It's called the swan. Uh-huh. And one foot is forward and one foot is back. Now, if that's too much for you, you could just bend the back leg. That's okay, too. That's okay. Or if it's too much, just don't do it. That's your your choice, all of you, of course. Oh my goodness gracious. Put your put your hands down here. I'm gonna scoop back a little bit. Oh, there we go. And put your hands down here and we're going to go down and drink some water. And then we're gonna come back up. We're gonna put our hands down flat, flat, flat. And we're going to reach them out wide, wide, wide while we go down and drink some water. And come back up. Ah, now we're gonna bring that back leg all the way to the front all the way to a crisscross applesauce. What? Isn't that cool how that works? Did you guys did you guys see what I just did? Now, I'm going to put my knees together again and I'm going to put my feet over this way. Okay? Over this way and now the top leg is going to shoot back there. Uh-huh. That's interesting. And now I'm on the other side. Now, like I said, if that's too much for you guys, it's okay. Just bend your leg. Do whatever you want to do. Do you do your favorite yoga pose, yeah? All right, we're almost done with these. And then we're going to do some story. Uh, but first we should play a little game. Do you guys want to play a little game? Okay, let's get a drink. Drink your water. Oh, pretend water. Yeah, you can get real water too. <laughs> you can get your cup of real water. And then we finished with that one. And let's bring that leg to the front. And there again, crisscross applesauce. Ha <laughs> ha! So clever. So clever. You can see that a lot of stuff that we do that's sitting down, one becomes the other. 
it's like a puzzle and they fit really beautifully together so you can see all those great poses right what did i just do what did i just do i was here and then i went like that and then i went like that but look my hands are still back here right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push myself up push whoop push whoop <laughs> okay when you push yourself to the front, what you're going to do is you're going to put your arms between your knees, not on the outside, al dentro, on the inside, right? Afuera, al dentro, afuera, al dentro. We like to speak Spanish sometimes, right guys? And I'm going to take my fingers and stretch like little spiders all the way, but my feet are glued down and it feels like, oh, I'm going to fall, I'm going to fall, but don't fall and put your head down. Wow, that is some good stretching, guys. Hands together, hands at your heart. Oof. Hands down. And guess what I'm going to do from here? That's right. I'm going to jump up like a frog. One, <laughs> two, ribbit. <laughs> Three, ribbit. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. Oh, okay. Now, frog stand up. Oh, wait, we should do the frog stand up way like this up and up much better right much better way to stand up and here we are we're standing up <laughs> march it out <laughs> i'm not going anywhere <sighs> okay if i were a genie and i could grant you three wishes what would your three wishes be what would you wish for would you wish for beautiful family together hmm i think you already have that wish would you wish for all the most delicious food that you could eat hmm i think you already have that wish would you wish for sunny days and beaches with beautiful ocean hmm there it is zing aha and the genie says i give you your wish Jum. Brrr, magic i magic you I'm the pretend genie. All right, so should we play a game? That was fun, you guys. That was our yoga set. I hope you liked it. And are you ready to do some what? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> are you ready to do a game? All right, just making sure I can see all of the messages. That's right, messages come, messages come. Messages come on the wing of a bird. Hmm, what game shall we play today? The other day we used this ladybug, which also in England and Europe called ladybird. And we put that between our legs and we squeezed our legs together and we did that. And we walked around like this. And we walked around and we did a sun salutation like that. And then a different class, we put the ladybug, the ladybird on our head. And we did a really cool dance and we wiggled and we wiggled and we jumped and we went down and up. Do you guys remember that one? Hmm. Oh, thank you, Chisan. Thank you, thank you. Messages, I love them. Now, this being a live performance, when it's recorded, I don't think people will be able to see all those messages, but just know that our friends were with us and your friends are with you. So now we're playing a game. Hmm, what should be today's game if we have the ladybug here and we have the ladybug here, you know what's coming next, right? Well, maybe you do and maybe you don't, but I say, how about let's balance it on our feet? Ha <laughs> ha, can you guys do that? Oh my goodness gracious, that's hard. Okay, let's do it together. Or how about balance on your knees? The idea is that you choose a place and how about put one leg up and balance right here. And the idea is that you can't move it. So what should we do, knees or feet? Should we do feet? How about the top here? Now recently somebody told me about the baby shark challenge. Have you guys heard about that? <laughs> so we're gonna do our own version. And we are, do you guys remember the baby shark song? That's been popular for a little while. 
Baby shark, do 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 do. You know that one? <laughs> Everybody knows that song, right? <laughs> but this is the ladybug. Baby ladybug. Baby ladybug. Look, she's balancing up. He's balancing up on my feet. Whoa. And then out and in. Out and in. You can put your hands down if you want to. Out, in. Out, in. Up, down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did you guys do? Oh, is that right? Dahlia's favorite is so cute. You guys are cute. All right. That was our little game for today. It's a Monday. That's how it is. Monday, Monday, I say it's here. Tuesday, that's tomorrow. Wednesday, we'll be here too. Thursday, we'll be here. And Friday, we'll be here. All of those five days, we're going to be make, going live on Facebook Monday through Friday at 10 o'clock in the morning Pacific time. That means we're close to the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. And then when it goes tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, all the way bring down, that means we're supposed to stop. But guess what? We're going to go over just a little bit because it's already 1030. And we are going to have a little story time. So you guys ready for chapter four? This is chapter four of mm -hmm, Uma and the Crystal Balls. The, if you guys missed chapter one, two, three, then you have to go back and watch the other video. But also, I'm going to be recording myself to uh, saying the chapter out loud, maybe audio recording or video recording. So many things are happening. All right. Are you guys ready for your story time? Get settled in. Am I settled in? I like to come really close to the camera, so I, I'm settled here too. Yeah, here we are. Here we are together. Ah, okay. Ah, so great to be with you all. Yesterday, I just wanted to say really quickly that I had such a beautiful thought. Does that ever happen when you think of something and then it makes you smile? I hope so. I hope that happens to you because it's really cool when it happens. So I had a thought yesterday that even if I'm in my house, I still know that my neighbors are in their houses. And they're all doing their things in their houses with their own families. My neighbor across the street, my neighbor on this side, my neighbor on that side. If you look around, you may live in an area where neighbors are close by, maybe. In my case, yes. And I was thinking about my neighbors and it made my heart feel content. I felt so happy. Why? Because I realized that they're there and I'm here. Even though we're not together, we are together because I'm thinking about them. So in my mind, we're together in that way. And I felt good, like safe and comfortable. That was interesting. So I guess I'm lucky because I live in a neighborhood that I like. I hope that you do too, I really do. And so it's the same with you guys. I know you're there. This is so cool, it's a live video. You're there and I'm here, we're together even if people watch this video later when it's recorded, we can still remember and say we're together. Isn't that cool? I just thought of that yesterday and I know it sounds really simple, but it really touched me deeply. So sometimes the simplest things are the most strong and powerful things. All right, chapter four. The last chapter that we read, it was talking about the origin stories of the crystal balls, which means where did they come from? So it was the crystal ball of air. It was a crystal ball. Ah, thank you, Chia-san. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, crystal ball of, let me see, of earth, crystal ball of fire, and crystal ball of water. My favorite was the one of the crystal ball of water. You guys can choose your favorite too. So those are the four crystal balls we talked about where they came from. And so now we're going back to the big egg gathering. Oh yeah, it's almost, almost, almost time for your, maybe you're doing some stuff with eggs, I'm not sure. But let's see. Uma the horse was born in that same meadow, 
right there where all the crystal balls, the little marbles were formed. Mm -hmm. But many, many years later, that's when Uma was born. He grew into a cult. I'm gonna show you a picture of Uma just so you can have a visual. Hold on one second. Here he is. There's Uma the horse, in case you haven't met him. And he's just a small horse. And then there's Lemongrass, the rabbit, right? You guys remember Lemongrass? So Uma the horse grew into a little colt right there where the trees now reached up to the sky. What? The beautiful meadow was filled with flowers and grasses that smelled so delicious. After the big egg gathering, when Uma was back home, he said, Papa, to his Papa horse, right? Papa, please tell me the story of the four crystal balls and the rainbow feathered nest. Uma's Papa said, you never grow tired of hearing that story. <laughs> I will tell you the story after you eat your dinner. So I guess it was in the evening. After a nice dinner of dried grasses, sprinkled with apple slices, Papa began to tell the story. Your great, great grandfather horse was friends with Mama Frog. She knew the story of the merfolk because a fish who traveled from the ocean to the river told her. Mama Frog told the story like this. Sarita the snake girl, mm -hmm. she's a very nice snake lived in our meadow a long time ago. Her family home was a nest with holes that went down into the earth. Sarita slithered around the nest, playing with her brothers and sisters. Their favorite game was hide and seek. They had a lot of places to hide because the holes in the ground. One day after a delicious breakfast of bugs, <laughs> They started the day's game of hide and seek when Sarita found a new hiding spot. Mm -hmm. The hole went deeper than usual. Sarita thought, my brothers and sisters will never find me down here. As she was slithering down into the hole, she bumped. Huh? And it hurt her. she bumped her head on something hard, cold, and round. Ouch, said the cold, round thing. Sarita said, who are you? The round thing said, I am the yellow crystal ball of earth. Sarita had never met such a creature. Hi, Becky. Um, she blinked to focus her eyes in the dark hole. Sure enough, the round thing was yellow with swirls of gold. Sarita was curious. Where did you come from? She asked. The crystal ball of earth told Sarita the story of how it was formed over a very long time and how Mr. Worm had helped to build its home. Do you remember that? That was chapter three. The creation story, the myth story of how it was formed. After such a long time, it said it would like to see what daylight looked like. And if it, if it also looked like the sun, because it heard that the sun was also yellow and gold. Well, the crystal ball also wanted to meet its other three family members. Because remember, one here and the other three, where are they? Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. How do they get to meet each other? That's a whole long story. The crystal ball of Earth had heard of the other three, but had never met them. Will you help me meet my family? Said the crystal ball, and Sarita said, Yes, I would like to help you, but what can I do? You can push me up outside, said the crystal ball. Mm-hmm. And there began the adventure. Uma's papa said that is exactly what his grandfather horse had learned from his grandfather all the way back to Mama Frog. And she heard it from a fish who traveled from the sea to the river who learned it from the mermaid. Here's the whole story line. See? One horse told it to the other horse that heard it from the frog, that heard it from the fish, that heard it from the mermaid. Mm-hmm. 
Now Uma's papa is telling it to Uma. Interesting. Uma's papa kept telling the story. Sarita pushed and pushed until the crystal ball of earth felt light from the sun for the very first time. Can you imagine how that would feel if you were in the darkness forever and then all of a sudden the light was shining on you? The crystal ball of earth was so happy to feel the warmth of the sun and then its powers grew. The power of the crystal ball grew. The feeling of this power was so strong that, guess what? Mm -hmm. Far away, the crystal ball of fire felt it too. Do you remember where the crystal ball of fire was? That's why the crystal ball of fire cracked out of the mountain and rolled all the way to meet its family, the crystal ball of earth. And when they touched each other for the first time, their powers grew to double, two times the power of one. Sarita saw that the two crystal balls glowed and the other animals saw, noticed it too. A circle of animals were gathering around. Everyone was amazed. They had never seen anything like this. The crystal balls were shiny and colorful and glowing. Then something even more amazing happened. The power of both of the crystal balls together called the third crystal ball, the crystal ball of air. The crystal ball of air was high in a tree. Do you remember that? It felt the pull of its family and it broke free from the vines that were protecting it. It rolled slowly down the tree saying goodbye to each branch. Goodbye branch, can you guys say? Pretend you're the crystal ball of air. Goodbye branch. And it rolled down and it kept rolling slowly down the tree saying goodbye to each leaf. Goodbye leaf. Can you say goodbye leaf? It kept rolling slowly down the tree saying goodbye to each bird. Goodbye little bird. And finally, it rolled slowly, slowly down the tree saying goodbye to each insect. Goodbye, insect. When the crystal ball of air shouted, and they said, come visit me in my new home. And when it touched the earth, it became bouncy like a bouncy ball. Boom, boom, boom. It bounced higher and higher with excitement to see its family for the first time. Oh my goodness gracious. When the three crystal balls finally saw each other. They rolled around and around and around and around. They were so content. See, here they are rolling around and around and around and around. <clears throat> By rolling around and around, they started to make a nest in the earth. <gasps> All the animals were amazed at how beautiful this was. Can you imagine these three balls and they're rolling around on the earth and and the earth is getting more like circle in a circle, like they're making a little, a little hole, a little nest for themselves. And they're brightly colored and they're bright colors of yellow and gold and, and a beautiful white and the other one, a beautiful red and they're swirling and swirling around. That's pretty impressive. Plus they're glowing, glowing bright. Oh my goodness. I could just picture it in my mind. And so the animals decided to give each of their own feathers and soft fur to the nest. So the animals that had fur, they took a little bit of their fur and they put it in the nest. And the animals that had, had feathers, the birds, they took a little bit of their feathers and they put it in the nest. And then they all made the nest. And even the flowers gave some of their petals and the and some of the um, trees gave some of their leaves and the nest became this beautiful rainbow feathered nest. And everybody could feel the power of the three crystal balls in their own bodies. Could you feel it? It's intense, right? So the crystal ball of earth, the crystal ball of fire and the crystal ball of air told the animals that there was one more crystal ball. See, three plus one makes four. And they said, where was it? Where was the last crystal ball? Sarita had promised to help the crystal ball of earth. And so she said, I will search for the last crystal ball to unite all four family members here in our meadow. We love your nest. We will protect you and take care of you. That is when Sarita asked her friend, Nana the monkey, see there? That's 
that's Sarita the snake girl, and that's Nana the monkey. Um, the, uh, and, and asked Nana the monkey to help find the last crystal ball and bring it back to the nest. But where were they going to look? They knew the last crystal ball would feel its family and want to come just like the others did. So Sarita and Nana said goodbye to the other animals and promised to return with the last crystal ball. And that's the end of chapter four. Tomorrow, I'm going to read what chapter? You got it, chapter five. So enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for letting me go over a little bit. Today I went over a lot, but I also started kind of late because I was waiting for people to, you know, show up and I was clowning. So if you come early tomorrow, you can see me clowning. <laughs> all right, everybody. I love you all so much. And thank you. Thank you for being here and watching this beautiful Keto Kids Yoga circle and yoga. All right. Bye. See you later.